the queen of sparta gorgo has been confirmed coming soon to rise of kingdoms as a brand new legendary infantry commander and today we're gonna go over all of her skills her talents and what i think might be some of the best pairings for her later in the video and oh my god can i just say infantry garrison is always going to be garrison boys this commander is definitely starting to look insane and just like i predicted in my previous videos talking about loche we do see more smite damage guys what did i say i told you bro i told you it was coming people gotta stop doubting me i'm literally i'm, I'm reading the minds of the developers over at lilith i just know what's going to happen okay anyway as you guys can see she is an infantry garrison and defense commander and the active skill has a 900 rage requirement as if this entire kit just as a spoiler as if the entire kit wasn't pretty crazy it's got a 900 rage requirements which is wild the next normal attack launched by this commander's troop deals smite damage of 2500 for the next three seconds this commander's troop deals 10 percent more normal attack damage deals 10 percent more counter attack damage takes 20 percent less skill damage and deals five percent less skill damage okay so we have a lot going on here first of all nothing on this skill specifies that she has to be in a garrison for any of this to work which is crazy because if you remember justinian just came out and he is the new cavalry rally commander and his active skill was super contingent on him actually being in his role of being a rally leader so i suspected that this infantry cycle we might see a commander that's garrison but would be heavily influenced by needing to be in the garrison and this says nothing about that okay the other thing that we have to note here is that yes there is a little bit of a drawback here she will deal five percent less skill damage for three seconds so if you pair her with a commander let's say she is primary which she probably will always be primary guys because 900 rage requirement is insane okay but if she is primary that means the secondary is going to deal five percent less skill damage so you already can kind of tell which commanders you're going to want to pair her with you're probably going to want to put commanders that aren't dealing that much skill damage although honestly this penalty isn't anything crazy i mean we see attila nevsky rallies and that has a pretty big debuff on skill damage and yet it still performs really well so i don't know if this is really that big of a deal to be honest with you guys in the grand scheme of things but also we have to keep in mind that we're taking 20 percent less skill damage from the target right and because we have a 900 rage requirement we're basically always i mean we're, we, i can't imagine a scenario where her active skill would go off after the rally okay so basically you are always going to have at least for the first skill cycle you're always going to have 20 percent less skill damage taken which is actually crazy the only commanders in the game that have a lower than 900 uh, rage requirement are genghis khan which i mean we're not going to be seeing a rally from him uh zhang yu maybe could be seeing a rally from him uh and huo Chibing, but i he's just not gonna be a rally lead like we already know that's not gonna be the case so yeah all of a sudden like right off the rip massive active skill here so much single target damage and a lot of great stuff to boot let's move on to the second skill this says infantry units led by this commander gain 40 percent increased attack whenever their troop launches a normal attack it is a 10 percent chance to increase normal attack damage taken by the target by 30 percent for three seconds so this is really nice stuff here first of all tons of infantry attack this is not really what i would love to see from an infantry garrison typically you would like to see lots of health lots of defense lots of tanky stats okay uh but one thing is for sure gorgo is going to hit like a truck with this amount of infantry attack and normal attack damage not only are you dealing more normal and counter attack damage but also the target has a chance to take more of it as well with an eight second cooldown let's move on to the third skill which says infantry units led by this commander gain 30 percent increased health while they're serving as a garrison commander let's go that is the tanky stat we were looking for right there whenever their troop launches a normal attack it has a 25 percent chance to deal additional smite damage to the target with a damage factor of 300 four second cooldown this looks very similar 
to luce in his third skill i believe also has the same portion that says 25 percent chance to deal 300 smite damage although if we pull up his skills uh he has a five second cooldown for the exact same amount of damage and the exact same probability of dealing that damage so i don't really know uh why they would give one a lower cooldown than the other when this second part of the skill i mean this doesn't say it has to be in the garrison right the first portion like the 30 percent health yes that only works in garrison but the second sentence here doesn't specify garrison at all so why she would have a lower cooldown for that i'm really not sure moving on to the fourth skill it says whenever this commander's troop deals smite damage it gains 30 percent bonus normal attack damage for three seconds oh my god okay so not only do we have a chance to deal smite damage on the third skill we're dealing smite damage all the time on the active skill and with a 900 rage requirement you're going to be popping that active skill faster than most active skills in the game which is crazy taking a look at the expertise it says if this commander's troop has less than 50 percent units remaining whenever it is hit by a normal or counter attack it has a 10 percent chance to gain a mighty shield with a damage factor of 500 for three seconds when triggered this skill also reduces the attack of up to five nearby enemy troops by 30 percent for three seconds so if you are swarming this garrison uh expect to have your attack absolutely nerfed and expect to be massively punished by the increase in normal attack damage on the fourth skill the increase in normal attack damage on the active skill and you're going to be taking less skill damage from those uh, swarms as well so overall i mean plus oh my god bro plus the 40 percent attack oh my god okay okay so let's let's just think this through for a second okay now that we've looked at all of the skills um the obvious pairing here is is luce right um now this isn't a perfect pairing let me just say that right off the rip okay it's not a perfect pairing uh the march speed reduction debuff on the active skill isn't great for a garrison but he is still dealing massive aoe damage okay and he's dealing smite damage in two different ways with his active skill and also with his third skill in the same way that uh that uh, gorgo is also dealing it with hers and you also have to keep in mind that smite damage is damage that is amplified by boosts to your normal attack damage okay so if you do a gorgo primary luce secondary as a garrison then what's going to happen is she's going to launch her active skill boost her normal attack damage by 10 percent and in that time you're going to hit with luce's active skill which is then going to be boosted by 10 percent because that's how smite damage works also with the enemy taking more normal attack damage on the second skill anytime that you deal smite damage to that target um you're going to be dealing more damage so whether that's the active skill on gorgo or the instant proc damage on her third skill or the active skill on luce or his third skill as well so it's it's crazy how much smite damage is is going to be popping off between these two commanders if you pair them together also remember we want the tanky stats for the gorgo garrison and we have 20 percent defense here we also have 30 percent health on her which is nice you're also taking 20 percent less skill damage if you put luce in that garrison as well and an additional 20 percent attack so a total of 60 percent infantry attack 40 percent infantry health and 20 percent infantry defense with 20 percent skill damage taken reduction on him and also on her active skill as well uh which is oh my god bro now there is a little bit of things that don't synergize perfectly here okay um while on the map is specified in the fourth skill of luce so dealing 10 percent more normal attack damage while on the map that's not going to do anything in a garrison also the expertise on luce is not going to do anything in a garrison whenever this commander troop launches a normal attack while on the map okay so we know that those two portions of so the entire expertise the first half of his fourth skill is not going to do anything and i think everything else will work this says 20 percent attack when fighting other troops and a rally i believe is considered other troops so yeah i think everything else here on his kit will work so it's not perfect synergy but it's really good synergy guys this is really good oh my god i honestly think this is going to be such a hard garrison to swarm down like i just don't think you're going to do it i think it's really going to hurt if you try to swarm down a gorgo luce garrison it's going to be actually crazy plus the the shields that you're just going to get like free shields like what now we also have to talk about zenobia okay she is kind of like the infantry garrison that just 
never dies it seems like every time she just is revived with every new release cycle okay it's kind of nuts but remember if you have a gorgo primary uh she has a lower range requirement also you don't really want skill damage and here you could see you don't get skill damage from Zenobia that's one of the things about her so you're gonna gain some healing factor and tons of health and damage just raw damage which is really nice we like to see that so really there's no downside to using the Zenobia as a secondary and that's also something that I should mention about the Luce secondary is that his skill shot is also smite damage so that probably isn't reduced by the five percent skill damage uh sort of uh, nerf or debuff on um on, on Gorgo's active skill right so another reason why there's synergy there but um keeping in mind the Zenobia pairing here it says when she's in the garrison you take 15 reduced damage uh 15 reduced damage from normal attacks and 15 percent more normal attack damage okay so that means that you're going to be dealing 15 percent more smite damage right because that is what modifies smite damage so the active skill on gorgo okay uh the active skill is a 2500 nuke that has a 15 percent bonus when you're pairing it with Zenobia that is wild Zenobia brings the tank Gorgo brings the absolute missiles bro Zenobia also gives you 20 percent health 20 percent attack and 10 percent more damage to rally troops okay uh this 10 percent more damage is also going to apply to smite damage which as you would expect and also there's damage over time okay so this is again another nutty combo I think this is going to be another super super crazy combo uh, I think Luce is going to be a higher damage output garrison I think Zenobia might be a little bit tankier as a garrison uh, but we're just gonna have to wait and see how these things actually play out um, I still think that we don't actually know 100 how smite damage is going to work like is smite damage like just normal attack damage is that what it is I I'm really not sure exactly how that 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 works okay but all in all I think that this is going to be an extremely powerful garrison it's going to deal a ton of damage it's going to be really hard to swarm down that's my expectation I could be wrong about this okay uh, obviously Gorgo is not in the game uh, at the time of recording this so like this is all speculation but right out of the gate we have two commanders we know have really good synergy here which is wild and that's not even to talk about uh the different you know armaments and formations that you can be using to synergize with Gorgo the arch formation may actually be garrison meta I mean like with this five percent like that's literally just that's basically the wedge formation for smite damage commanders like that's what this is right so if you are going to be leading a Gorgo garrison then arch formation is probably the way to go I think which is kind of crazy and also possibly even just for Luce in the open field and speaking of the open field let's talk about Gorgo's possibility of being used in the open field because again the active skill here says nothing about being in a garrison her second skill says nothing about being in a garrison her third skill does say that she only gets the health in the garrison and then the fourth skill doesn't say anything about being in a garrison and the expertise says nothing about being in a garrison so there's a lot on her kit that looks like it's going to just work in the open field like this could actually just be an open field infantry commander like actually um even more so possibly than Tarek, if I'm remembering correctly uh this is kind of nuts um we have a 25 percent chance of an instant proc 300 we have 40 percent attack reduced normal attack damage 30 percent more normal attack. I mean guys this is this is wild this is this is wild now the thing is like do you really want a defense because you, you you're gonna use her as primary right I think you probably would um but you're then gonna have the defense tree there's no March speed on her by the way so she's gonna be really slow out in the field uh so definitely a huge downside there um but I mean people use Duga Leong in the open field and he has no March speed either so I don't know we could we could actually see Gorgo as uh as a as a commander here now in, in the field right but also you have to consider right um that yes she has a 900 red requirement but I mean you could put her as secondary and then the skill damage dealing five percent less skill damage here that immediately doesn't matter if she's secondary right because you're not going to be dealing skill damage if she's if she goes second 
then you've already popped your octave skill you're presumably going to have skill damage on your octave right um so I don't know I mean you could do Luce primary Gorgo secondary right that could be an open field combo which is actually kind of crazy uh you would do five five one one I mean like or yeah I mean you get so much value out of five five one one right like insane active skill 40 percent attack you get this nice little buff here this third skill doesn't even I mean yeah you you miss out on a little bit of smite damage by keeping her at one uh, and here you still get 50 percent of the value right you're still dealing 15 percent more normal attack damage when this is just at one point right so obviously five five one five would be better but i mean five five one one looks pretty good now again there's no march speed here so i don't know we're just gonna have to wait and see how smite damage really works out in the open field uh, or just in the game in general but one thing is for sure i think gorgo garrison is going to be kind of crazy and guys uh, I'm just gonna say it she's also a baddie she's kind of hot let's just be real boys let's say yo hey hey a Gorgo Zenobia garrison that is the most beautiful garrison you're ever gonna get killed by bro oh my god in case you guys were wondering uh yes this is Leonidas's wife you can see uh his helmet right over here so I know she's I know she's gorgeous but she is uh taken ladies and gentlemen so that is unfortunate now one last thing this is probably going to be the mightiest governor commander uh that's typically how these trends work in rise of kingdoms so in case you guys were wondering I suspect Gorgo will be the mightiest governor commander Luce will be the wheel of fortune commander that is what I am expecting to be the case of course he will be getting Luce for free in the upcoming uh five-year anniversary event all right guys with that being said if you enjoyed this video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it while you're down there comment down below your thoughts on gorgo i would love to hear from you guys do you think she's going to be the new garrison meta i think she definitely has a chance i really want to know your thoughts on this and while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time that i upload breaking news for rise of kingdoms with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been on my york i will talk to you guys again soon peace